Good morning my little snackies and welcome back to my channel for all of those that are old. Hey, welcome back. And for all those that are new, welcome to my boudoir, to my bed. And welcome back to Zedmus. Plan for Christmas. Maybe day six. I don't know, I've lost count, but I thought I'd start the day off in bed and um, just bring you along for the whole freaking journey. So, what have we got on for a churro? I am currently in bed, obviously. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm going to go to the zoo! Oh, yes! I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to go and feed some of the animals there. I'm really excited. I can't wait. It's going to be lush. And then tonight I have an event with a whole bunch of buzz and bitches. Um, which is going to be really fun. It's just a girl's Christmas kind of thing that we've organized at Ivory Afloat. Ivory is float? A float. Let's just call it a float to be on the safe side. It's like a bar in the Yarra River. Oh, oh. So should we get up? Let's get going. Okay, so I sleep naked, so I had to put some clothes on so I could show you my morning routine. Um, first of all, I make the bed because, like, I can't concentrate if the bed is not made. So let me put you down. Let's make a bed. Okay, I'll tell you a fun little fact. Um, I always shower with a towel over my head because I have curly hair. And I don't really love um, wearing shower caps because I feel like the water gets in. Okay, another thing that I'm friggin' obsessed with is this. So, can you even see it? So this is my perfume. You guys know I'm friggin' obsessed with Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. So, why did I do that? That was dumb. Basically, what this is, um, it's my perfume in a shower gel. I also have it in a moisturizer, so like, if my perfume wears off, we do it. Anyways, I'm gonna wash myself. I'll see you when I get out of the shower. The light in here is freaking horrendous. So that's the Chanel um, moisturizer that I use. So it has the same scent. So let's just put this all over our body, shall we? Okay, so zoo outfit check. So I'm literally just in some like, bluey, pinky, purple kind of jeans. My Balenciagas because we're not really, we're feeding animals so we have to wear enclosed shoes. Little white um, crop top, little necklace and just, I thought a ponytail extension would be a vibe. So that's the OOTD. The light's not very good, let me swing it around. Okay, there you go. So yeah, we've got, I don't know, you can't really see the color of the jeans very well in camera but it's super cute. They're like this like pinky, purpley, I don't know, kind of color. Anyways, I thought I would just sit down and talk to you guys about Christmas and our expectations. And, you know, I know it's a little tricky leading up to Christmas. So, as I mentioned to you guys the other day, my brother, uh, who's 14, was meant to catch a flight and come over to Melbourne and spend Christmas with me. He unfortunately didn't get his flight due to my mother so we are having some family dramas which is always the way around christmas but sadly that meant that my brother is no longer going to be spending christmas with me which means i'm spending christmas by myself <laughs> love that for me so i thought i'd just kind of chat with you guys because a lot of people do spend christmas alone and like unfortunately as good as my Christmas tree is gonna get is like this. Like that's as good as my Christmas tree is getting this year. I don't do the whole Christmas thing unless I really have a reason to. In saying that, I had booked in all this shit to do with my little brother that I thought that he would like to do like the zoo. So I'm still gonna go to the zoo. I'm still gonna feed the giraffes and feed the seals. I'm just doing it with a friend. So, um, 
that's fun. Later on today, I'm gonna go to um, a flow and hang out with some girlfriends and just meet a few other like beauty kind of just real gals in the industry. So I don't know why I said that in quotation because they like, <laughs> There's a lot of fake shit on Instagram. I'm sure you guys will realize that, but or YouTube, wherever we are. Hi guys. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to explain to you what was going on. My plan for Christmas has just kind of been like, <laughs> see that, that, that over there, that's the bin. That's where my plans have gone. But you know, this happens at Christmas time. Family can be crazy. Um, so yeah, just kind of like dealing with that, which is, <laughs> Um, uh, I've just popped my candles on sale for you guys as like an early um, Boxing Day sale. Mm -hmm. um, so they have gone down from $85 Australian, of course, to $59.99. Guys, let me just show you these candles because I've shown you them up there in the little where they sit. There's, the stock is... That is not all of the stock. There is a lot more stock. It is going really quickly and I replenish that. So that is why that always looks full. Anyways, let me show you these candles because they are a vibe. Alrighty, my little snack heads. As promised, I'm gonna go through the five scents of the candles. So first up is Severe Anxiety. So the reason behind this was for when I have really bad anxiety and I just wanted calming. So this one's cucumber, lavender and sage. It's really good to have like in a bath or something like that. We've got Big Dumb Idiot. So this one I kind of wanted for the guys or like girls to give to your boyfriends or if you kind of just like that vibe. It, it's kind of like a manly yet sweet scent. It's really cute. It's kind of, if you don't really love the like really like caramelly, caramelly candles, this is a vibe for you. It's creme brulee and sandalwood. Um, yeah, I literally just thought this was like for a boyfriend. Then we've got luscious angles. So the joke behind this is me and my girlfriend used to always say luscious angel wrong and we'd always spell it wrong. So luscious angle is why it's called like that. Um, it's literally a replica of Coco Mademoiselle perfume. So it literally smells like Chanel. It's absolutely stunning and I matched it to my perfume. Me Daddy is obviously a very, very popular one. So you all keep asking me what warm leather smells like. It literally smells like Lynx Africa. So it sounds, sounds, it smells like a really, really sexy man. This is a really, really strong scent. So you actually don't need to light it. You can leave it um, just like the candle with the lid off and the whole room will smell. It's so good. Last but surely not least is Tasty Little Snack which is all of you guys, my little snackies. It's sea salt caramel, so it's super, super popular. It literally will make your house smell like McDonald's hotcakes. Like it's that good. You no, know, it looks a bit weird, but once the wax starts to burn, it actually goes the same color as the jar. So it goes like this really dark midnight black. The wooden candle wicks on the inside here are gonna sound like you're next to a fire. So they crackle, it's really pretty and really relaxing. We went with the three wicks over the one wick, just because it was A, more aesthetically pleasing and B, it makes the wax well melt down evenly. Right, so I thought I'd just get one of these out of the jar and show you. So this is how they come. Everything for these candles were made in Melbourne, made in Australia. That was really important to me, um, just because I didn't want anything made overseas. These look um, gray in the jar and um, got a lot of questions about the three wicks. It won't burn faster. It's the same size as having one big wooden wick in the middle. We just found that these were a little bit better. That was something that I wanted redesigned in the new candles. Um, also with these rose gold lids, you can sit the candle straight on top of it like that, but it also will sit on it like that. So if you're wanting to store it around your house, it can look pretty like what? When you're burning them, oh, my voice cracked like a 14 year old boy. You can literally just pop that straight on and it will stop your house smelling smoky. So once the candle's burnt, just pop the lid back on and you're good to go. Now I have been asked why I have priced them 
a little bit high. The reason being these are actually a kilo. So if you think about a glass house candle, they're a little bit bigger than that. Well, they're a lot bigger than that. You'll get 200 hours of burning from these one candles. They're actually vegan and soy. So that's just a cool little fun thing. But yeah, the reason that they're a little bit more expensive is purely because of the fact that they are 100% Australian made, including the boxes. So yeah, not getting the boxes and the jars and everything from China makes the product a little bit more expensive, but I was really um, wanting to support Aussies. So that is all that I have info-wise about the candles. If you guys have got any questions, shoot them on through and happy shopping. Merry Christmas. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go drive and <coughs> rude. drive and pick up my friend and then we are going to go to the zoo. Wow, my car is real dirty. Literally the only thing that's in this freaking car right now. Oh, wait, wait, which way do I go? Mm, let's go this way. Um, the only thing that is in this car at the moment um, is like Gucci bags. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds so bougie, but I'm really not that bougie. I don't know where they've all come from. I've just managed to collect a whole heap of them. So, if you guys want any bags, let me know. They're just empty. They're like the ones that everything comes in. Anyways, she's rambling. So yeah, Zoo, I think it is currently 10.23 a.m. I'm about to go pick up my friend, and then we're gonna go to the zoo, and then, um, we're feeding the giraffes at 11.25. Weird time, really weird time. So I'll keep you updated. So. <laughs> Welcome guys. My name's Luke. Um, look after the giraffes here. Uh, and welcome to our giraffe encounter. We've got the two lovely ladies here at the moment. We get here who's uh, right next to us here and then the crew who's over the back. We're going to go up on the platform here and feed them. Um, it's most likely going to be Twigger that'll come over and eat from us. Uh, she tends to send the crew through the fork and then she comes and gets all the good stuff. Um, but Nakuru may come over, we'll see how she goes. Um, don't be offended. <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. Ooh, Face me. Yeah, nice. I'm New Zealand from around a marine park over there that closed down some years ago. We've got there and one of her mates. So I'm gonna go, if you guys wait there, I'm just gonna go up and approach Eha and just show you guys what to do and then you come up one at a time and with it. Yeah, and obviously we can do presentations and get as many people on that sort of thing, which is part of the value of the training. But the really cool stuff for us is the um, the fact that they participate in all their own health checks and just make life easier for us to look after them, we can just give them a better standard of care because they can, they can do things with them that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do. So it takes you know, many hours of training, but, and, and she's just not met any of the people here. Yeah. Um, she's happy to lie on her back where she's really vulnerable, she trusts everyone. Yeah. Um, the vets can come in, they can do ultrasound, they can take blood, um, x rays, all sorts of things. Just so that, you know, hopefully we never need it, but at some point in their life they're probably going to need all that stuff. And, um, and we, yeah, we get all the training done now. So um, it's just normal, it's just part of life. Oh, Do you hate that boy? Yeah, they got good teeth. Yeah. Quite black. Um, they, they, when they're born, the teeth are all nice and white. And yeah. the black stuff is just like a layer of fluff. 
because they, they got piercing teeth and they really chew their food. We yeah. want them to wear that bark away in their diet. Um, yeah, and, and they wear the teeth in well in the wild. The Catholic seals have normally got really good teeth, but the wild seals have just got a pretty good way to wear it. Is that not? Fuck it. I'm out. <laughs> Alrighty, back from the zoo. It wasn't it just so cute with all the giraffes and the seals and everything? Ooh. I'm going to an event now. I've had a quick outfit change. Ooh. Almost a nip slip. Um, and I'm gonna get an Uber into the city because I, you know what, I feel like I might have a drink tonight. Get ready to meet some lovely ladies. Just on my way to the Christmas party with the girls and I had to show you guys these doors. So my neighbors are having <laughs> Christmas door decorating um, <laughs> competition. So yes, I'm the Grinch. I don't have anything on my door, but I had to just show you guys these because they're really cute. Like what? Three minutes? <laughs> and look what we've got! Like, into Oh my god, I'm scared! Oh god, tequila shot! What did you get? Fireball! We got sangria! I'm like, take my money! Literally, take everything you have! Look at her go! She's just like, no, nah, it's up to you!
Ready? Ready? Alright, ready. Ready? Ready? Go. Ready? ready? Go. ready? She is baby gay. Ready? Set, go. Oh. Hey, that's the taste of the sound. And that is the taste of the sound. Taste of the sound. And we've got butter beer. Oh, the butter beer. It's the best. <laughs> I don't Wait, know. I don't want to say more about it. The butter beer. I really think it's like more cleaner when you smell it. Probably better when you taste it. No time of day. Nah, he doesn't care. But he'll look he's... back, I promise. I promise he'll look oh, back. It's anyway, Zenny terrible. Girl's got her, her lettuce coming up on the table because we're not oh, sure oh, what's oh. going down. But <laughs> yeah, she's got a kebab there. Wait, what have you got? It's kebab. Zenny Girl signing off. Um, <laughs> I can't breathe. Cool, be just. Hi, my little snackers. I can't wait to show you. Uh, Zed Milch. Zed again! Zed I snorted! I'm not gonna talk, I promise. Alright, go, 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 go. I got my nose blocked. I got my nose blocked. I promise! I promise! <laughs> I'm a little snickers. I can't wait to show you Zed on Christmas Day. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> That little bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes Hit the school, I can get them both, I don't want to choose And I'm quick, cut a nigga off, so don't get gone